So last time we were talking about ways to visualize uh, the various rewards that the agents in the ill for all model had uh, earned, right? Or, and to show them off. And so we still have that same model up and running, right? And you can see the different colors showing up there. Uh, in this uh, talk, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to get some more concrete information about what those agents are doing rather than just the visualization, right? So we're gonna talk specifically about monitors uh, where we discuss how you can use monitors to monitor what's going on in those agents, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create a monitor. So we go up to uh, the little drop down GUI area and we select monitor and then we can click anywhere and usually it's nice to click you know below so near some of the other visualizations so we're going to clarify it just below the bar attendance and let's for instance say we want to find out who's doing the best right so we want to monitor or what is the best that someone is doing i should say rather than who so we want to monitor the max reward of the turtles right um, and we're gonna call it max reward. Now let's stop here for a second and talk about this display because we haven't really talked about all these different elements before. So max, as you might expect, takes a list of numbers and returns the maximum value of that numbers, right? And reward in these little funky brackets um, is basically taking that property from a turtle, right? And then of, which we haven't mentioned of before, basically allows you to specify a property and then grab it from a set, an agent set. And in this case, it's the agent set of all turtles. So we're gonna take the reward of all the turtles and put that in a list, right? Um, and then we're gonna take the maximum of that list. So if we hit okay, right, you see we get a, a um, reward that shows up right there. We could set up and we could go and we could see it showing up. Just by the way, just to show you a little bit more about how that of command works, right? So if we type reward of turtles, right? You can see we get the list of all the different things. And theoretically, if we scroll through this, we should be able to find a 17. I see one right there, right? That, that indicates this. Um, okay. One other thing is, you know, a lot of times we're moving these around and they're kind of all over the place uh, in terms of the graphical elements, right? It might be nice that they lined up well uh, so one thing we can do is we can go up to edit and then click on snap to grid, right? And in this case it is on, and this will allow us to only kind of put them in a limited number of spaces. So they should be easier to line up, right? Okay. So we've got max reward right there. Now we can add a second monitor, uh, for instance. So we know the max, what if we want to find out how the worst people are doing? So we can add a min reward of turtles as well, right? Um, min reward, right? And we can try to line these up a little nicer, right? Okay, and hit set up and hit go. And there you can see there's some turtles who never get rewarded. In other words, they never go to the bar. So they, they never get a score whatsoever. Um, and you know, it might be some of these individuals who for whatever reason their rules just never allow them to go to the bars. Right? Okay, so min and max we got, um, but what about the average? How's the average turtle doing? Well, that's easy enough to do too. We can click here, type mean of turtles, mean reward. Oh, sorry, I actually did that wrong. Mean reward, right, of turtles. Um, okay, on that one as well. Okay, so um, this one's obviously, even though all the turtles are gonna be real valued, or sorry, integer valued rewards, uh, because we're only allowing ones, um, the mean isn't gonna be because we're averaging over all of them, right? So if we hit set up and hit go, then you can see the max, min, and mean, right? And then of course, maybe you wanna understand, so the mean is the, you know, the average of all the turtle rewards. Uh, maybe you want to figure out is the is this reward distribution skewed at all and one way to do that is to look at the median the median is the, literally the middle value as opposed to the mean which is the average of the values and depending upon if the mean and the median line up perfectly then you have a fairly normally distributed uh, uh, reward system right uh, but if if the mean and the median differ substantially uh, then you have a, a um, you might have a skewed distribution. So we can check that out right away. We can create one more monitor for the median, right? And just do median 
reward of turtles median rewards hit OK and so now if we hit set up and hit go you can see the mean and the median now the median will be uh, integer valued unless uh, it happens to be that there are there there because there's an even number right of turtles if the two in the middle are off by one it'll split the difference between the two so there you go so that's that gives you some idea of how to do uh, build some monitors to help you actually inspect on a regular basis rather than having to type inspect all the time what's going on with your agents. Um, in the next talk, we're going to talk a little bit about how to create plots. Um, so that's another way to kind of see what's going on with your agents.